It's Friday's in the graveyard. I love a graveyard, don't you? This is actually a cemetery because the difference between a graveyard and a cemetery is that a graveyard is in the yard of a church. And I'm at Watcote Cemetery here in the town of Snow Hill. And you can see, if you look around me, it is just a giant burial ground, which makes it a cemetery. But I'm standing next to one of the saddest graves that you'll ever see, the grave of Joby Emmons, his wife Martha, and his son Martin. Now, Snow Hill was a colonial town. It was a royal port. It is, sits on the banks of the Pocomoke River. The Pocomoke River is named Pocomoke. They believe the word Pocomoke means black water. And that's because the bald cypress trees that line it leak this tannicky acid into the water, making it black. It also makes it so that there's no ambient light about six feet below the surface. So there were many drownings before we had all this life-saving equipment at our disposal. Joby was a sea captain. He had a schooner called the Arabella. And these schooners would go up to Baltimore and back. They'd go to the West Indies. They were basically like the trucks of today. They were import, export vehicles. And one day, Joby took his son, Martin, who was nine, Joby was about 35, on a trip to Baltimore. And when they came back down the Chesapeake Bay from Baltimore, they had to turn into the Pocomoke River. There's the first town you come to is Pocomoke City. And evidently, Joby said to Martin, listen, hop off here and get some supplies, meet me up at the highway bridge and get back on the boat. So little Martin did that, he met his father at the highway bridge. And his father, when, he, when Martin approached the boat, put out his hand to help him onto the boat. But Martin slipped and fell between the boat and the bulkhead and his father lost his grasp. Martin didn't surface. So naturally, Joby dove in after him, but Joby didn't surface either. Very sad day. The next day they came and they dredged the area and they found them arm in arm. So Joby did find Martin, but he couldn't get to the surface. We don't know if he couldn't find which way was up or which way was down, or maybe he just um, got caught under the boat. But they both died. They were brought home here to Snow Hill and buried in this plot. And it was some 40 some years later that Martha, the mother and wife, passed away at the age of 76 and she then joined them. And they're all three buried right here. Now there's an amazing tale that goes along with this story in Pocomoke City. It's actually on our ghost walk. And it's a tale told by an African-American man in the 1970s to a student at Salisbury University who was collecting folklore tales. And he told um, this tale about how he used to work at a sausage factory that overlooked the Pocomoke River. And sometimes he'd come out there and he'd sit and he'd look at the water on his break. He said, I used to see this man and this boy walking down the Pocomoke River side by side. They always had the same clothes on. He said, year after year, I'd see him once or twice a year. And the little boy never got taller. And the man was always wearing the same hat. I often wondered if it was a spectral image, but I was certain it was when I was fishing one day and my boat was blown to that side of the river. And I thought, this is right where I typically see those two walking. But he noticed there was no hard shoreline. There was no way to walk. There was nothing, no sand, just cypress knees coming up through and swamp. So there was no way those two could have been walking on the river. So some people think maybe, just maybe that could be Joby and Martin looking for that boat to come back home to Snow Hill. It's a sad story and a sweet tale. And it's Fridays in the Graveyard, and I hope you like the story, and I'll see you next week.